Hey everyone, so I just wanted to do a quick little video. I, I know I haven't done a video I think in a couple of weeks and so I wanted to do a little bit of an update on what I have going on here around the sawmill and the yard and the property. We've actually done quite a bit and we've had a quite a bit stuff going on here. Um, quite a few improvements. Fall is here or fall is starting today actually. Um, and we are in New England and New Hampshire, so as you are, I'm sure you're aware, uh, winter is going to be coming fast, really fast. So we're kind of like in winter prep mode, and that is why I haven't put out videos in the last couple of weeks. I've been pr pretty busy trying to make sure that we're set for winter, because when you're out here in New England and you know everything's going to get covered in a couple feet of snow, you don't want all this stuff sitting out here. You want to try to figure out what you're going to do. Um, to keep it protected and to be able to access things as you need it because once the snow sets in and Everything's frozen You're pretty much stuck with what you have. There's really no getting around it without an extreme amount of work um, And I don't have time for that. So it's much easier to try to prepare for this now so uh, a few things that I have done today the big thing There's the solar kiln, right? So today, a couple of the big things that we did is I got some metal siding put on the front of the solar kiln. And even more importantly than that, a big deal, see that box right there? That's a sub panel that there's 60 amps of power now going to the solar kiln for the fans. I've added, uh, we have three fans in the solar kiln. I've added 16 60 watt bulbs and a 70 pint dehumidifier to the kiln and it's actually been amazing. Uh, most of it's insulated. I started putting on some flashing on the, ro the roof ridge, which is not great. I just did that quick when we had some rain. I'm gonna fix that up and get that all secured nice. I'm gonna get finish getting some of the siding done here. I'm gonna get probably the, the sides done on board and batten. I'm gonna put flashing on the corners and then on the doors in the back. Uh, I'm gonna to have to figure, I'm gonna figure out the best thing to do back there, but um, I've also run my hand power planer and I got these doors now so they open and close nice and smooth. So that works well. I'll show you what we have going on inside the solar kiln right now. I have a load of ambrosia maple and cherry slabs in here. You can see the eight bulbs here in these two arrays. I have the same thing on the other side. If you look in there, you can see them. And on the far corner, there is two 20 amp circuits in there to run all of this. And on top of that, I have my 70 pint dehumidifier. Um, I have to finish up, as you can see, finish up the insulation and get that cleaned up nicely. The doors are much easier they're closing a lot easier now because I I use the power planer to clean up the edges so it shuts a lot smoother I'm probably gonna close these vents up now that have a dehumidifier running in there because the vents are mostly for um, ventilation to circulate out the humidity but I think I'm gonna stick with a dehumidifier in there it's actually been working really well and uh, at some point I'm probably gonna run a hose out of the bottom into a bucket so I can easily just dump it rather than opening the door to do that. So the solar kiln has been has had quite a bit of an upgrade. We ran power from our panel underground. I ran a trench with the skid steer and we finished putting that power in. We also have we have the 220 amp circuits inside. We have 120 amp circuit outside to run power. And we have our sub panel here on the outside of the solar kiln. So we have three 20 amp circuits out here at the solar kiln now. So that's gonna be probably a pretty permanent structure at this point. Um, I've stacked all of the pine that I've cut here in these three stacks. Um, I gotta figure out what to do with that because I don't want that stuff sitting there all winter because it's just gonna get rotten and moldy and all that and I don't I don't really want to deal with that I have 
all of this uh, cherry, uh, red cedar, and ambrosia maple that I cut that is staged and ready to go into the kiln when that stuff comes out. So I have my next load ready to go. I have some logs over here. I got black locust, Norwegian maple, red cedar, and basswood that I'm going to be milling next. Um, and then I have all these logs over here. A lot of that stuff's going to turn into firewood, I think, because I have a lot of red oak. And I already have a lot of red oak milled, so I don't really have a big need for that. Um, the outhouse, as you can see, is just about done. I got the polycarbonate roofing on there. They're flashing on the top, ridge vents. I got the soffits done. The door is finished. I just have to put the hinges on and put the door on. The door's right there. So, got a nice door. It fits perfectly in the opening. I got to close up the front and the back of the roof. And so once that once that's done, um, put the door on. Then I got to cut the battens for the board and batten siding. So get the boards all on. Then I got to cut the battens to cover the, the gaps there. And down on the other property, I've done quite a bit of clearing and in preparation for building the pole barn. And I'll take you down there now and show you what we have going on down there. But on my way down, um, just to let you know, so I went out uh, the, around the town, the power company came out and they replaced a lot of the telephone poles. And when they did that, they offered the other telephone poles, the old telephone poles, which are actually in really good shape, to whoever wants them. So I went down with my trailer and my skid steer and I picked them up. Not all of them, but I picked up a lot of them. Um, so I have plenty of uh, 25, 30 foot long, large telephone poles to use as posts for the pole barn. So I don't know if you remember the property next door, but it was quite wooded the last time I showed it. And as you can see now, it's a lot less wooded. <laughs> so I've been working on, there's the shipping container. All my dry lumber is in there. Um, and I actually had some customers come by today. I have some more customers come by, coming by tonight to pick up some more wood. So that's been going well. These are all the telephone poles. Uh, this is a two foot diameter telephone pole. These are the ones that they use out in the woods on the, the heavy power lines. Um, so those are gonna be used for the posts for the pole barn. So I'm hoping to get that at least started in the next couple few weeks. So that is what I am up to. Um, I also got a steel MS-880 chainsaw with the 59 inch bar, a Grandberg 60 inch Alaskan mill. And on Monday, I am planning on going out and milling a 50 inch diameter red oak. Um, they cut the log to about 16 feet and I'm gonna be going out on Monday with a 59 inch bar, 60 inch Grandberg mill. With my ripping chains, I got a winch, um, the Alaskan mill winch, auxiliary oiler. I'll be setting that up tomorrow to test it. But, <laughs> as you can see, oh, stand over there. As you can see that saw is no joke. 122 cc chainsaw with a 59 inch bar. I got a 60 inch Grandberg Alaskan mill to go on that. So I'll be taking that out on Monday to mill that log. The customer actually approved and told me that he's fine with me recording it. So I'm gonna to try to record the whole process. So I'll be, share, I'll be able to share it with everyone. And hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll be able to get that video out and show you guys what I did with that. But that thing's gonna be sick. <laughs> I already run it a few times, just cutting some logs. And that thing's a beast. Trying to hold that thing up with a 59 inch bar on it. Probably weighs 35, 40 pounds. It's gonna be a lot of work. <laughs> I'm gonna get a good workout that day, so. Anyway, I just wanted to update everyone on where I'm at with all of this. We're all caught up with our wood for the winter. We're good there. I still have a little bit of land clearing, landscaping work to do. I get a, a plow down there that I gotta get sold. Um, Still a lot to do before winter, but I've got quite a bit done, which again is why I haven't put out videos lately, but hope to get back to that soon. Um, anyway, we have a website up now, dylanswoodworks.com. You can check that out. There are um, wood that you can order 
to have shipped to you directly. If you like a box of wood, right now I'm just offering red oak because that's all I have dried. Um, I will soon offer cherry and ambrosia maple on top of that. Uh, it's roughly uh, eight to twelve dollars a box plus shipping. So if you want, go check that out. Um, but pretty much that's it. That covers it. Um, if you have any questions, please throw it down in the comments below. Let me know and I will always get back to you. Hope you're all having a great weekend and we will talk soon. Take care. Goodbye. And if you're new here, don't forget, subscribe. Please hit the like button if you like this video. If you don't forget, there's a dislike button. People have been using that lately and I welcome it. <laughs> all right, guys. Take care. Talk to you soon. Hope you're doing well.